Hi, I'm Martha McLaughlin. I'm a PhD student funded by Brain Research UK. I work here, in this beautiful building. This is the Queen Square Institute of Neurology at UCL London. I'm working as part of a team of people researching ALS among other movement disorders. You might have heard of ALS from the Ice Bucket Challenge a few years ago. If not, here's a quick introduction. ALS is a type of motor neuron disease. Motor neurons are the nerve cells that carry messages from your brain to your muscles in order to move. That means in ALS, when these motor neurons begin to die, this causes the person to have muscle weakness. Unfortunately, most cases of ALS are fatal and there's no cure. In order to find treatments for ALS, we need to understand what's causing the motor neurons to die. There's a lot of ideas about what this might be, and in particular, there's been some brilliant work done already that tells us that there's something going wrong with RNA in ALS. So what's RNA? RNA is how the cells read the instructions that are in our DNA. Each of our cells has all the instructions it could ever need to function tucked away in its DNA. But no single cell could possibly use all of these instructions at one time. So it reads little bits at a time called genes by turning these genes into RNA. The instructions in these genes are often to make a protein the cell needs, but other genes make RNA that can do all sorts of jobs in the cell, including influence other RNA, which makes the biology quite complicated. In my project, I'm looking at two proteins that interact with this complicated system of RNA in the cell. These two proteins can come out of the nucleus where they normally are and accumulate in the cytoplasm in ALS. You only need one of these proteins to go wrong to develop disease. My project is, look, is looking at what happens to RNA when each of these proteins are not working properly and then comparing these effects to look for similarly changed RNA that might be important for causing ALS. Hopefully, by better understanding how disrupting these proteins can lead to problems with RNA, we can better understand the causes of ALS and therefore get closer to a cure. Thank you for watching and please look at more of the brilliant research being funded by Brain Research UK.